Good morning. Merry Let's Go Live to you all too. We can see you in the live chat. I'm Maddie. I'm Greg. And all together now, we are live. Hello, hope you're all doing okay. It is our favourite time of the year. Ho, 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 ho. And to celebrate Let's Go Live, we have bought you uh, not one, not two, but three Christmas specials. We had Snow Day. Yeah. We had Sprouts Away. We had... Uh, Excuse me. Sorry, those, they're really still repeating on me, those Monday sprouts, oh, I tell you. Oh, goodness me. Today's show is... Reindeer Sleigh. Reindeer Sleigh. Yeah. So what are we doing in today's show? Oh, uh, today's show is... Oh, I've started with cracking music. Oh, that's fine. I'm on keen. It's we like can just all dance anyway. I love it. Uh, in today's show, we are going to unwrap mm -hmm. some festive facts. We yeah. have got some Christmassy crafts. Uh, we have got an awkward Elfie. Mm -hmm. Uh, and of course, we've got the Let's Go Live Christmas Cracker. Plus, we're going to be finishing the show with a bit of a bang, a whoosh, if you like. <laughs> yes, um, yes. Let's just say it's going to be mm. explosive. It's very ambitious. It is ambitious. It's going to involve us going outside, but... It's going to be fine. Right now, we're live from the spare room ski lodge. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> um, I think we should start by giving ourselves some Christmassy names. Reindeer names, no other. Oh, reindeer yeah. names. Okay, Why don't do you this? join in with us, actually? Um, we found we're a just thing. bringing up a website that you can go to or just play along now. Uh, what you want to do is take the first letter of your first name and then look in that top box. So I'm Maddie, so I'm looking for M. Mm -hmm. um, and that is... Lightning. What's yours for your uh, first name? I'm a name? Greg. I'm a G, so I'm Wiggles. <laughs> Wiggles. Wiggles. Nice. Uh, okay. Um, and now I'm going to take the first letter of my second name, which is Moat, and that is in the in the bottom box, Charmerson. So my reindeer name is Lightning Charmerson. Lightning Charmerson. How smooth. Uh, what's mine yours? Is Wiggles Von Whimsy. Uh, uh, Lightning Charmerson and Wiggles, Wiggles von Whimsy. Whimsy. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you have a look at that and uh, work out what your reindeer name is. If you were able to do it live with us, let us know in the live chat and we'll yeah. call out some of your reindeer names in a little bit. Gosh, loads of you sent in pictures of what you've been up to from, uh, from our Let's Go Live Christmas specials. Thank you yes. so much. We love, love, love seeing them. Should we take a look at a few now? Yeah, let's see in? some of your sprout crafts from Ooh. our Sprouts Away show. Uh, Sophie, Oliver and Lucy, uh -huh. they you had... said sprouts. My finger slipped. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, my bum slipped. Here um, we go, go. They had great fun at creating three different uh, types of festive tins for lockdown, knockdown, and a pipe colander kaplunk, but they used bouncy balls instead of Brussels sprouts. Very clever. Uh, here is Ed Edward and William. Um, they're also doing sprout lockdown, knockdown, both of them making and playing. Oh, they're great. Brilliant. Isaac loves Let's Go Live. Thanks, Isaac. And, he enjo and he's enjoyed the Christmas shows. Uh, here he is giving colander kaplunk a try. Uh, Abby and Miriam also made Colander Kaplunk. Look how seriously they're taking it. Well, Abby and Miriam is a very serious sport. So it, it's it's, it's going to be, all the, grown -ups it's gonna be in the Olympics. Well, it will be. It will be soon. At some way. point. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Dexter, he loved playing Sprout Kaplunk and he's even got some Sprout Ketchup to try this year. Would you try that? Um... No. I'm not surprised there. Uh, you said you liked them at the end of the last show. Yeah, so it I might did like be them. Nice. Have you seen on this picture actually? Sprout jumper. I know, I know. Dedication. Love that. All right, a couple more. Uh, Marina and Paul testing their sprout trapper. Oh, you're brave, Paul. Bethany, she used a box and made lots of little holes in it to thread pipe cleaners nice. through. Very clever. And she didn't use sprouts because theirs that they are growing <gasps> in pots in their garden aren't quite ready to be picked yet. Wow. Cool. They're amazing. Last up, we've got Tomas and Lily. Um, they've been making their snowmen tin cans. Oh, brilliant. Let's get live tops as well. Thanks so, so nice to much. See. Um, we've got a couple of videos to show you uh, from some of the activities that you got up to from Snow Day. Uh, first, here are Ethan and Aaron. It took them 148 attempts to get this video. No way. Wait for it. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> well done honestly to, to get the snowboard on not only jumping but then sliding so down that ramp perfectly great effort so good yeah pippa decided to make uh, an ice rink mm. but for some of her favorite characters hello maddie and greg mm. i made an ice rink and also and anna can now actually skate on real ice great idea Look at her go! Brilliant. Oh, that's so nice. We've had quite a few um, 
themed ice rink's been sent in actually there was a harry, harry potter, potter. yeah Saw very that, good. One. that was awesome um james yes james made a snowboarder and a slope and he's been playing with it more than any of his other toys hello maddie and greg hiya um <laughs> this is my ramp where my snowboarder will zoom in the air watch Whoa. oh my gosh it landed it right way up like it should do <laughs> bye maddie and greg bye <laughs> that was a great landing. We don't often do birthday shout outs on Let's Go Live. However, James's daddy, Andrew, is turning 40 today. 40! So happy birthday. That's a big Congratulations. Yes. Uh, one more video. Oh, I'm all right then. Uh, this is Isla and Theo. Uh, Isla and Theo, they live in Rwanda, ah. where they also have Brussels sprouts. Rwanda is a country in Africa. Yes, but they're a little bit smaller there. These are sprouts from Rwanda. They're so small because it's hotter here. And they're really tiny. I'm going to put this back in the basket. We've got a basket full. And then I'm going to send the sprouts away. Little puss. Sprouts away! Sprouts away! Uh, the Brussels sprouts, because they were so small, they didn't quite fit in the colander. They kept falling through, so they put them on a zip line instead. Very good idea. Right, we've got a Flash and Bootsy Whiskerson watching. Also oh, known lovely. As They're Olivia great names. And Jacob. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we've got an Oliver who's never missed a show in Manchester. We have Charlotte in Ipswich. Hello, Charlotte. Merry Christmas. I'm um, just having a look for some more of these names. Oh, there we go. We've got a Patches Von Stride and a Snuggles Avon Stride watching in Wokenham. Um, we have Franco in London. Hello, hello, hello. These are brilliant. Oh, and uh, hello uh, to Louise, who is six to get six today. Hello. Another little Another birthday. birthday yeah. Wonderful. Hello to Kitten Poppy watching with Nick and Alice. Uh, Shiloh and Eden with Will and Bronwyn. Jackson and Ruby with Alan Bex. And Amber and Dexter as well, who are in the live chat right now. Hello. This is brilliant. Keep them coming. Keep keep telling us your um, your reindeer names. Are so Crazy numbers of you <laughs> watching right now. Okay, oh. brilliant. Uh, we should say we have lots more of your. Um, what was that? Hang on, I just need to. Uh, one moment. I think Maddie was going to, don't know what she did. Maddie was going to say, we've got lots more of uh, your pictures coming up at the end. And also we've done a slalom uh, special. You've done some amazing sprout slaloms. We've done a special video with loads of them all together in a montage. And stay. Good boy. Sit. No. Sit. Good boy. There you go. Good boy. What? What are you doing? Nothing. Just had to quickly get something finished. Right, now, Middle where of a show. were we? Middle of a show, just saying. <gasps> just yes, saying. Yes, more Sprout videos later. How exciting. Should we get on with some Christmas crafting? Yes, yes, let's definitely do that. So we all know that at this time of year, uh, Christmas Eve, it's the one time of year where some select reindeers, yes. they develop the ability to fly. They sure do. Um, we can't get flying reindeers in the studio right now, no, not but we do have a really simple Christmas craft for you, which kind of gets your reindeers flying. Sure okay. does. So this is a Christmas DIY flying Rudolph cup puppet. Catchy name. I think it'll take <laughs> off. <laughs> Let's just call it a flying Rudolph cup. That How works. about that? That'll do. Okay, all right. So you're going to share us this Christmas craft? I am indeed. So let's Okay, shall we up. show them a complete one first? Indeed. Here do you we want go. my finger as a hook? Imagine Whee! this is a imagine this is a door. I love their door. Adorable. Isn't They're it adorable. adorable? It's adorable and you could even hang, hang it on, it on a your door. door. An adorable do you want, DIY do you mean, cup puppet. I'll be your door. Okay, that's it. Okay. So what so what we've done is you've got your cup here, which you've decorated like Rudolph, and then you can pull it all the way up. And then with these strings, you can either make it fall or fly. Fall all the way to the bottom or Whee! fly. Whoop, fly. Is it Rudolph? It's Rudolph. It is Stop Rudolph. There we go. Whoa, there okay. we go. How do we make it? Well, you, this is how you make an adorable DIY flying Rudolph cup puppet. <laughs> Very simple things you're going to need. A cup first and foremost. There you go. I've painted uh, this one brown. Um, but as always, we encourage you to decorate things however you want to. I've also got a piece of string. I've got a couple of other little bits which we're going to use to decorate. So I've got some paper which I folded um, to sort of make little a concertina pattern, like a zigzag. They're going to be our legs. I've twisted up some pipe cleaners just here. They're going to be our antlers. And then I've got a piece of red card, which will be our nose, of course, because this is Rudolph. And finally, some googly eyes. But really, you can do whatever you want. So getting the cup, first of all, I'm going to make two holes in the top of the cup. And I'm going to do that using a pen. Careful when you do this. You want the, the holes to be 
bit just well just a bit bigger than the width of the string that you are using so there we go that should do just like that can we see those holes yep brilliant perfect and now i'm going to get a piece of string we've got some garden twine you could use ribbon if you wanted to and i'm going to thread it through those two holes there we go one end's going this way and one end is going to go into the other hole there we go making sure that you can see what i'm doing like that and then I can lift those through, pull them, and then I'm just going to tie them in a little knot at the end. Here we are, just like this. So once that's been tied in place, that's the complicated bit done. And so you can see it goes through, or you can pull it down the other end, just like that. And now all we need to do is decorate it. So I've got some glue here. Let's put on that bright red nose first, because then we will know that it is Rudolph. So let's put that there in the center. And I'm also going to put the googly eyes on. One, oops, excuse me, mm. one there. <laughs> you can obviously spend a lot longer doing this, but who says it has to be a flying Rudolph? Maybe you could make something else. Maybe it could be an, an elf, an, a fairy, a Christmas oh, fairy, better, yeah. maybe, or an elf. It could be a jumping elf, maybe. There we are. Okay, lastly, I'm going to put on some feet, but then I think I'm probably going to leave the antlers because they're going to need a little bit more glue. So there we go. Let's stick those antlers on. And um, that's it. It's done. What I'm loving, yeah. What, what are you I'm loving? loving here is uh, Admiral Von Stride and Mistletoe Von Stride are sat with their dad in a Santa hat and a white sprayed beard. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy does not know why he's done this. <laughs> just, 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 you've been told to dress up and you have. Love that commitment. Uh, we've got Spark and Snuggles Slayski. Uh, Ooh, in that's Ireland, good. yeah, um, we've got so many of these names. We've got Speedy and Bootsy Rocketbury. Oh, that's a good one as well. These are great names. Tilly and Jake. Apparently, when you stood up, someone saw um, our fire burning in the background, and oh, they were like, "It's, it's, it's, it's cozy in here." Yeah, it's safe. It's under control. That oh fire. no! See, right. So I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm avoiding the antlers because the glue takes a little bit longer to dry. Sensible. But you get the idea. There it is. Should we show you it working one more time? Yep. Because this is the important bit. So you can see how it actually works. So if you could be my, uh, my we could say my that it's we could say that it's Christmas magic, but it's it, actually it is. a bit of simple science. It is. So the string goes up and down like this. So if I was to hold the string straight in like this, you can see DIY it's Rudolph just falls down. However, if you pull the strings apart, they'll move up. Yeah. So this the is how you control widen, it. Widen. That essentially forces it up. Yeah, it up. exactly. It's pu pushing against the edges. There you go. So that's it. Done. See if you can make yourself a flying Rudolph. Uh, needle needle uh, craft that one. If you do take some pictures, please do share them with us. We love seeing them. Uh, this is us on the social medias, at Maddie Mo, at Greg Foot. Yeah. Stick on a hashtag, let's go live. Come and chat. Tag us on uh, Instagram. Tag us on Twitter. Yeah. Um, but not all <sighs> reindeers fly, though. Well, no. Only a select few, like you said. Yeah. But what? they do a lot of walking. How much walking? A lot of walking. I Actually, hear a fact bomb rain, coming in the distance. Reindeer can walk for miles and miles and miles. How many miles? They are, well, often over 600 miles. No. Yeah, they're one of the world's largest, well, they have one of the uh, largest animal migrations in the world. So this is when animals move from one area to another. Yeah. And reindeer, they move in their herd, their group. And they'll often, in the summer, they will migrate to warmer areas where there's lots of, lots of open land. And that's where they'll graze, they'll gobble up grass and then when the snow comes they will return to the slightly more sheltered areas when it gets really snowy and that's when they'll have their babies and when they're there they eat lichen would i travel 600 miles for a good meal probably i think you would yeah. i think you oh you can have a fact, fact bomb you can have a fact bomb <laughs> say fact bomb fact bomb <laughs> Back from a Christmassy one. Ho, 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 ho. Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> oh dear, I love that. That was absolutely. Oh, hang on. What uh, can you earth... pass me? Have you got a carrot over there? No. No carrot. Don't worry. Hang on. I might have one. Don't worry. Perfect. Got one. Two minutes. What are you? What are you doing? Hang on. Hang on. Okay. All right, you lot. Sit. No, sit. And fly. Fly. Come on. You can do it. Well done. And down. Good boy. Good boy. Very strange. That... Okay. Ooh, I think. What? Okay. What is it? Okay. Uh, we've um nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh, Let's it's... do a few hellos. Oh, uh, right. Hello to Marnie and Evan in Bristol. Hello Sophia and Eloise, James and Toby, Isabel and Maisie, Noah and Toby, Ariana and Blake. Breathe. Wow, Isabel in London. Hello. Joshua, Charlotte with Mum Nikki. 
Uh, we have, who else have we got there? We have Daniel and Joseph, they're watching in Hampshire. We've Hiya. got Aria with Max and Layla and Oliver and Esme. Leo and Toby in Harrogate. Betty and Abigail, River and Jasper. Ah, oh, lots of hellos. Thank you so much. Um, we should get on and pull the, the Christmas Cracker. Hang on. Now it's time to dance. All right, if you're dressed up, this music. you've got your Christmas jumpers on, do a little jingle. Jing a jingle? And a jangle and a Jing. bell. Uh, dance around the room. What are you going to be today? A reindeer. A reindeer? Oh, too high. These are my antlers. All right, I'll get the cracker. <laughs> okay. What do you normally get in a Christmas cracker? You might get a hat. You might get a joke, some trivia facts, or perhaps even a little toy. Let's find out what's inside the Let's Go Live Christmas cracker today. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, that went that was absolutely good... everywhere again, as always. It always does this, doesn't it? So strange. It's so strange. Oh, All right, shall we see what's this. inside? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Hang oh, on a second. Hang on. I, yeah, I'll get that one. Right. Oh, right. got it on my foot. Nice. I've got it. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Hey! Oh. Antlers! They're good hats. Look at these. Look at how that. appropriate. I don't know how they fit in there. Oh, you know what it is? What? It's Christmas magic. Yeah, it is. It is absolutely okay. Um, I've got some. I've got some bits pieces. Do you want to do the jokes? Yes, please. Then, <laughs> right Go up my it. street. Yeah. Uh, what do reindeer use to communicate? The antler net. Oh no! If you've got any Christmas jokes, tell us your worst. Uh, okay, here's another oh, one. Dear. What do reindeer hang on their Christmas trees? Carrots? Hornaments. 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 Slight problem. Technically antlers, not Technically, horns. Technically antlers, not horns. Uh, um, let's not be last those one, people. Last one. <laughs> What's a reindeer's favourite game? Skating? Stable tennis. Stable tennis. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, very good. I bet good. they ping pong a bit as well. Oh. <laughs> That's a little bonus one there, threw in. It's off the back. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a fact for you. Please. Okay. Did you know that reindeer are experts at keeping warm? Yes. The only part of a reindeer that isn't covered on the outside of a reindeer that isn't covered in fur is the eyeballs. It's eyeballs? Yeah. What, so the rest of it is covered in fur? fur everything apart from the eyeballs. Ho, 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 ho. ho. <laughs> Whoa, that's good. become a thing all right yeah. uh loads of you getting uh, in touch we've got hickory cocoa and dazzles flufferstein <laughs> have we got uh, any jokes coming in yet oh someone said reindeer skating yeah see i thought it would be a skating thing but no stable tennis how did the snowman get to work by icicle oh we had that one actually um, the other day, what do we? you call a deer who can't see i've got no idea Hey, no idea what do you call one with no that can't see and it's like sat on the floor and it can't move Still no idea. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Um, what says O O O? Father Christmas going backwards. Well done. Hey. These are brilliant. They are awful. Um, what else right. do we have? We need a game. Okay. Was there one in the? Oh, bracket? what athlete is warmest in winter? A long jumper. <laughs> Hey, yeah. very nice. Uh, we need a game. Hang Wait, on. Is there one in I'm here? I'm going searching for the game. Oh, oh come on, let's go live Christmas cracker. Hang Don't on. let us hang down. On. Hang on, hang on. Have you got something? All of this was in there. Wow. I know, amazing. What is it? Uh, so this is uh, instructions for no. apparently how oh, to make breaking the set. one yep. of these, a walking paper reindeer. Ooh. So it uh, looks like this one's already been made. Okay. So Shall we see if it walks? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, good so luck. Just, all right then. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, so what do I do? Just There's put it here? one here as well, yeah. So we're gonna yeah, pretend on, that this little slope that we've made is the, uh, is the roof, a rooftop, how about that? Oh, we can both squeeze in. Okay, so this is your rooftop. We'll ask, uh, will, uh, will it work? Try this one as well. Okay. Go on. Oh, Go on. started walking. Oh, oh okay, that one's, down. that one's still no idea. Whilst I get these walking, why don't you explain? Oh, great. Go on. It's going Go for on. a little Go walk, Go yes. On. Oh, look at it go! Oh, it's yes. super sweet. Right. Okay, there's a reason why we're excited about this because it takes quite a bit of tinkering, <laughs> it but does explain in... the paper reindeer. Okay, so you lot, um, these are the instructions for how to make a paper reindeer. We've actually put these on a Patreon page. We have. Um, and everyone can go and get it. Right, yeah, it's, you it's... don't have to be a Patreon. There yes. is just a link in the description box of this Free video. Free and available to everyone. Look at it go. Um, look at it go. Look at it wandering. It's so sweet. Dum, Bye. Dum, 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 Bye. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, so what you do, first page is instructions. 
Second page um, is like a template that you can cut out. Yeah. Uh, third page is one where you can design your own, right? So, with an adult, and being careful because you're using scissors. Yeah. The scissors are sharp. Yeah, right. Uh, you cut around the outside uh -huh. of your template. Not going to do that now. <laughs> and you get yourself your shape like mm -hmm. this. I should show this to. Uh, let's Probably show here this if you want. to. So, I'm going to do it like this. Boom. Right. Haven't used this camera for a while. Like that. There you go. You do this. And then what you do is you cut. You cut down the straight lines, but you don't cut. The dotted line. Fold the dotted lines, yeah. cut the solid so you, lines. you cut down the straight line, like... Nice, I see what you're doing there. One. So you're almost making sort of like... Three dangly on, bits. Three dangly bits on each side. Okay, and then your two outside dangly bits are going to be the reindeer's <laughs> legs. So you fold them down like this. Hope yeah. you bit more carefully than I do. All right. And these two bits here, yeah. that's going to be tail sure. and head. Mm -hmm. Tail, what I like to do is curl it around a pen. Oh, so it sort like of like this. sticks up a little bit like and a you waggy know, tail. You do, like you're doing with a with a ribbon. Oh yeah. Bang. Oh Look nice. At that. Nice. And then the front one, yeah. uh, I like to kind of fold up so it's kind of got a neck. Uh, fold up like that and then fold down to be its head. So fold up, fold down, like that. Yeah. And then if you want to be extra fancy, you can like squeeze the front bit. Squeeze it to kind of make a little. Greg, I've head. I've never seen anything look more like a reindeer in my entire agree. life. I mean, if you want to go a little bit crazy, you can then stick some antlers <laughs> on it, right? That's yes. so good. I'll okay. There. Also, I've made Oops. a bit of a, a kind of a more decorated bling one. Here it is. Oh, brilliant! All right, let me have a go Hello. at making this one work then. Hello. So there is actually sort of some science. How, how is it, or why is it that these are able to walk down a slope by themselves? Off it goes. This one's so good. Look at it go. Yes. Right. So the legs aren't flat. They're not completely straight. And um, the legs are at a bit of an angle. So what happens is, yeah, we're so happy. So we're so happy. What happens is um, it kind of rocks over onto one leg mm -hmm. and then gravity is pulling it down the slope, right? When it rocks over onto one leg, the other leg kind of becomes free and swings down thanks to gravity. Then it rocks onto that leg, yeah. right? And then it rocks onto the next leg. So because it's on a slope, it's being pulled down. But as Maddie said, they take a little bit of tinkering, a bit of playing, but right? But when you get it right. Need a bit of patience. But when you get it, you can see how happy, it's happy you are. It's so, so, oh, go on, off you go. It's so satisfying. Um, we actually found that card works better than paper. Yes. And you sort of did quite a bit of adjusting of the hooves. You want to play with the angles. Yeah, I um, I kind of like trimmed the angle of the hooves. Right, okay. You'll see what I mean. Like, you guys are great tinkerers. We know that. So have a little play. Oops. Oh, that's the paper one. Yeah, the, um, that one doesn't work so well. Okay. Uh, the red one's all right. Always going quicker. The red quicker. one's quick. Oh. <laughs> so it's a little rock and reindeer. Also, <laughs> play with the different steepnesses of the uh, of the roof. Okay. And also, uh, it's all about the amount of friction. The amount of um, friction you get between the hoof and the roof. <laughs> yeah, so you don't want anything too slippy, but yeah. you don't want anything um, too bobbly either. So we found this little rough surface works really well. Um, but please do have a go. Think of that download as our little Christmas present uh, to all of you. Yeah. So yeah, rock and reindeer. Rock and reindeer. Rock and reindeer. Rock and reindeer. Okay, and let's the pop thing is, away. is that they moved quite slow. Yeah. Uh, and I've yeah, got a feeling that. that for Santa Claus to get around the whole of the world in one night, his yeah. reindeer are going to need to move a little bit quicker than that. Yeah. So only Father Christmas sort of knows how that happens, mm. really. Like, I certainly don't know that. But I can tell you something pretty interesting about what happens when they move. You know a lot about reindeer. I do. I do know a little bit about reindeer. So um, reindeer, they actually make a snapping sound when they walk. This blows my mind. All I love this reindeer. Fact. So if you ever get a chance to see reindeer, listen and you will hear snap, 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 snap. It sounds a little bit like a crackly fire. But that's, excuse me, that's because they have um, a tendon in their, oh. in their, sort of in their Should leg. I show you a tendon? Yeah, that's a tendon. You see that sort of like stringy bit just there. Um, a tendon snaps over a special bone in their foot and that's what makes the noise. It doesn't I mean, hurt them. We've got a video of it yeah. though if you want to uh, take, a little, take a little look and a listen. So that sound is not the sound of the snow on the camera or anything. That's actually the clicking sound of their knees. Hear that? It does sound like a crackling fire, doesn't it? That's so amazing. So reindeer experts think that the reason um, this happens is to help reindeer stay in contact uh, when it's really snowy or foggy. They might not be able to see each other very well when it's totally white around them, but they can hear each other. Is it over their knees or over their feet? And it snaps over a bone in their foot. So oh, I guess okay, it's gotcha. sort of their lower leg. Okay. Um, but yeah. 
pretty fascinating. I, think fascinating. I love that. I love Hang that. on. Right. What on okay. earth is the jingle bell? I've only got a small carrot. He's not going to like this. Okay, two seconds. Who? Um, Who are you looking after? Oh. Okay, you lot. Any ideas who Maddie's looking after? Look who mm. it is. He's coming to say hello. It's Dave. No, 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 no. Great. It's not. It's not. At, at this time of year, he prefers to be. Sorry. He prefers to be called Dave the Red Nosed Reindeer. You see, he's auditioning to be one of Father Christmas's reindeer this year. So oh. he's eating lots of carrots to try and get into the Christmas spirit. I see. Yeah. Sorry, I mean, da Dave I mean, the Christmas yeah. Reindeer. Yeah. Hang on. What was that? He says he's put some Christmas presents under the tree for us. That's very nice, Ben. That's so kind of look. you. Yeah, let's have a little look. Have we got look. permission to open them? Can we open them already? Yeah, he says yes. Okay, we've got oh, one for Maddie. Thank you. Oh, we've my goodness got one for Greg. Me, how kind. All right, you go first. Let's see what we yeah. get. Thanks. Christmas Thanks, presents. Dave the red, red, Dave the Christmas reindeer. reindeer. That'll do. As long as he's happy. Presents already. It's not even Christmas Eve. Gosh, he wrapped go. them up well, didn't he? You did. What yeah. have I got? What have I got? Greg, I've got a carrot. He does yes. like carrots. He what does like got? carrots. Have I have got. Mm -hmm. What have I got? Thank you. What have I got? I've, I've got <laughs> what? Carrot soup. Whoa, you're wow. Get in. You know, I've actually got every type of food on my Christmas list. Oh. Every type of food. So thank you, Dave. Well done. The Christmas reindeer. And, but not only thank you to this one, also thank you to all of you who have got involved with Let's Go Live this year. It all started at the beginning of lockdown and here we are 61 yes. shows later, most yeah. of which that have all, you know, been hosted here in, in our this room, And then we went out and about. Yeah, we covered everything from dinosaurs to space, yeah. uh, magic to theme parks, one of our favourite weeks. Mm -hmm. Mini Makers was great as well. Yeah. Um, if you haven't watched any of them, if you're new to Let's Go Live, they're all available on the YouTube channel. Uh, and also, if you want to see any videos we make mm -hmm. in the future, click the word subscribe. Click so the word subscribe. We do have one last big make to show you, and it's going to take us outside, which is going to get a little bit messy, and it's raining it's I don't know if you've noticed. Absolutely chucking it down. So we're going to get a bit wet, but that's Shall fine. Shall we do what they're all yelling in the live chat, which is the Elfie? I think so. Now that we've got Dave the, no the reindeer with us, why don't okay. we do this? We do Hello, the buddy. Elfie? I've um, got one of my... I've got a dog, a, dog, a flying door cup holder. I'll hold that as well. Okay, fantastic. Do you want to take hold one of your horses up? Nay. No, oh, horses? I mean reindeer. <laughs> reindeer, better, sorry. <laughs> better. Okay. okay. Let's do our final do Christmas this. Elfie of right. the year. Uh, Three. That's so good. Uh, here we go. One, two, two three. three. It's the awkward Elfie. <laughs> oh, what edition. we like. Gosh. Oh, okay. What a year. Right, this is it then. Let's show um, some more of your, uh, why don't we show you some more of the Christmas crafts? Good idea, because it is raining. Maybe that will stop raining. Yes. Okay, yes. let's do this first. So some more of your photos. Um, we have Noah and Nell. Uh, they've been really bus busy making their own sprout lockdown knockdown. And their family are actually going to use the tins that they've decorated to put their cutlery in on Christmas Day. What a great idea. Lovely idea. Awesome That's idea. Great. Uh, next up, we've got Dylan and Dawson. Uh, they've been loving the shows. They are. Uh, they've been rewinding the sprout farts. <laughs> Here they are with the tin cans <laughs> uh, that they made. Honestly, Caden had loads of fun uh, decorating his lockdown knockdown, and is going to be uh, playing inside with it with an indoor snowball. Oh, what like pom poms? I think I don't know. It's a big one, I assume. Oh, yeah. love that. Um, Jack loved the Sprout show. Here's his Sprout Kaplunk. They played mm. it all morning. Oh, Pippa loves Let's Go Live. Here she is with her colander Kaplunk. Awesome PJs, love them. Mia loves making and playing the Sprouts Away game. Oh, didn't have pipe cleaners. Yeah. So uh, what she's done there? She's used spaghetti. Ah, that's a very smart idea. Uncooked spaghetti. See, bit of tinkering. Um, and lastly, we have Florence and Jemima. Florence hates sprouts. Uh, Jemima won and she's pretty happy about it, despite those horrible sprouts, in their opinion. <laughs> I love the message she just came in saying, just wear coats, Maddie and Greg, and go outside. Fair. Well, we're going All to right, do we that. Shall, we <laughs> shall do that. Um, lots of you sent in those amazing videos of your sprout slaloms. Yes. So how about... Yeah. Whilst you go outside and get set, yeah, I'll <laughs> yeah pop on a jacket. Okay. Uh, I will show you lot a whole bunch of your sprout slaloms. Okay, are you ready, Maddie? It's time. All I can say, yeah. Good luck. I'm going. Okay, all right. Here you go, you lot. Whilst Maddie goes and gets ready, here are your sprout slaloms. They are absolutely amazing. 
here it comes. Hello, Maddie and Greg. I'm Freya. And I'm Lilimix. I say you made the Sprout Slalom. Yay! Have no day, Greg. Where they set go. Yay! Yeah! Hi, Maddie and Greg. Merry Christmas. This is my Sprout Slalom. Three, two, one, go. Welcome to the child of the one of my sprout. Love that ending. Oh, how amazing were those videos? You sent us so, so many. We both really enjoyed watching them last night and putting that together and uh, oh, you lot are so awesome. I'm glad that uh, you're saying in the live chat you're enjoying it. So we don't do things by halves here on Let's Go Live, do we? The end of the final of the trio of our Christmas specials is going to take place outside. So let's see if I can bring Maddie in outside. Hello. Hello. Hello in the studio. How wet is it out there? Pretty soggy. <laughs> Okay, good. Well, we can see you. That's perfect. That's perfect. Whilst you're setting up, I'm going to tell you lot what we're going to do. Um, we have done a few reindeer related activities today and we're going to end with one of our favourites. You might have seen our video on how to make reindeer rockets. Well, we're basically going to give that a go right here live as our finale. And um, then we'll come back up and say a, a goodbye to a bunch of you. So these are our reindeer rockets. It's just a, a, a fruit drink. Um, fruit shoots weren't the best, but others are available um, that we have painted brown. And then we've stuck on some little eyes and we've put some antlers on there. Now, the key to this is to choose a bottle that has a really tight lid. OK, now the idea is we're going to send that up into the air, right? We're going to propel it like a rocket. If you're watching during Space Week, we made some great rockets out of um, vitamin tubes. And we crunched up some vitamins and we put them in the lid. We put some water in the tube, put them upside down, and then they launched. We tried that last night. Didn't work so well. So we're using these. And instead of vitamin tablets, we're instead going to use headache tablets. Now, you should make sure you definitely do this with an adult, right? We're going to use something called Alka-Seltzer. There's various other things. What they do when you put them in water is they fizz. And that's the key for us. So Maddie right now is filling each of our reindeer up halfway with some warm water, right? It's about 100 millilitres, halfway with warm water. Then we're going to take three of these headache tablets, crush them, put them in, right, with the lid off and you're going to hear them fizz and that's a chemical reaction that's happening between the tablet and the water and it produces a gas a gas called carbon dioxide and it builds up and it builds up and it builds up then when you put the lid on it's got nowhere to go so that pressure builds up and builds up and builds up you turn it upside down eventually that pressure is so high it's going to have to force its way out through the bottom of the bottle, popping the lid off like that that pushes against the ground pushes the bottle up in the air Hopefully we have lift off. All right, Maddie. Yeah. How are you feeling? Shall I come down and join you? I'm ready. All you need to do is bring the tablets out last moment because I don't want to bring them out into the wet. That's good thinking. All right, so let's get rid of me. So it's just you. Let's put on some uh, tension music. Okay, Maddie. Ready. I am coming down. 
Okay, so Greg is on his way down from the studio to the garden right now. He's going to bring the uh, fizzy headache tablets that are going to go into the bottles to help us with that chemical reaction. And you can see I have set up six reindeer rockets. Um, and this one here in the middle is Rudolph. So we've given it uh, a little red pom-pom nose. If you want to, you can watch the full video of our reindeer rockets, which is available on the YouTube channel. So Greg's already told you this, but in each of um, these bottles, I have put 100 millilitres of warm water. Having the warm water helps with the reaction Hello. just a little bit. Hi, don't worry about the coat, it's not that wet. Go get it. We need the tablets. We need the tablets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so of course, we need the fizzy tablets to get that reaction going. Okay, here we go. Here we are. All right, so that one is for this one over there. Okay. All right, you lot. Finale. Are we all set? I'm going to start here. You start here. Work out. I'm going. I'm going. These three. You're doing those three. Go ahead, Roger. Okay. Ready? Ready? Okay. We're just going to go for it. Yes. Three, two, one, go. Okay. I have got my fuel in the first rocket. My fuel is in. That gas Lid is being produced. Is on. Rudolph is upside down. And okay, ready for the next one. Go. Loading up reindeer okay. number two. My next this is going in. This is Dasha. Dasha! Who you can had you dancer. Name the reindeer is back to the question. Uh, Dasha, dancer, comet, okay. blitzen. My second one is in. My Balance. second one is in. Go. Oh, crikey, go. I should have put them further away from me, shouldn't I? Here we go. How many more have you got? Oh, I've got one. <laughs> okay. None of them are going. None of them are really going. Worrying. Oh, no. Come oh, on. Okay, we've got one. Oh, there's a leak. Quite work. No. Ah! sure if you are doing this at home please do it with a grown-up and do it one at a time so that was amazing oh my goodness well you lot that almost brings us to the end i hope you enjoyed that I'm out of breath from sprinting up the stairs and did being you so see, nervous. Did you see that final? Did I see it? It was perfect. That was brilliant. If you enjoyed that, give us a big thumbs up. Find the thumbs up button. Give us a big thumbs up. Wow. Well done. What a way oh. to end the year. Oh. I think it's fair to say that 2020 hasn't been the easiest year for everybody, has no, it? No, it's but, not um, been a good year. Let's Go Live has been a real shining light for us. Yeah. And it wouldn't have been that without all of you. So thank you so much. Yeah, um, yeah it's given us a, a, a beacon, isn't it? During yeah. the year that we've really enjoyed doing it for you and meeting all of you and doing this show. So thank you so, so much. Yeah, we are really, really grateful. Um, if you want to join the uh, the Let's Go Live community, we've got a Patreon. If you want to support us that way, that's a yeah. monthly thing. Uh, or if you fancy giving us a little treat, yeah. uh, you can you can shout us a coffee. Yeah. Uh, over at coffee.com <laughs> forward slash let's go live yeah or a mince pie you know think about it how you like yeah whatever um, mold wine but that is it from us we hope you have a wonderful break uh, whatever it is you're ending up you've ended up doing and uh, just the best start to the new year as well here's to 2021 so stay curious stay curious have a curious christmas <laughs> we'll see you in the new year <laughs> bye. bye everyone oh bye <laughs>